All right, welcome to this video lesson, um, which is to accompany chapter 10, Capitulum Decimum. And we're looking at third declension, specifically third declension neuter. Um, there are some words in this chapter, flumen, fluminus, is a, a neuter third declension word. Animal, animalis, and um, mare, maris are also third declension words. They are third eye stem words. So right now we will look at the song and I'll sing the third neuter verse and the third I stem verse. And then we'll take a look at the um, declensions in chart form. Okay, so third neuter verse goes blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a neuter third declension. Ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis, ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis, ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis, that's the neuter plural rule. Now this goes to the tune of what do you do with a drunken sailor. The I stem verse tells us the differences for I stem. Instead of um, which you see up in the third neuter verse, it says ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis. Um is the genitive plural. Instead of that, you get eum genitive plural for all I stem words. And then for neuter I stem words, which would include these new words animal and mare, where uh, a normal third declension would have e in the ablative singular, you get e, which is a long i. So e for e means you have a long i instead of a short e in the ablative singular. And then where it says e for a, e for a, e for a, the e for a is telling you that in the neuter plural forms where you would normally get an a ending, a single short a, you instead get e a, which is a short i, short a. All right, so let me sing this verse. Eum genitive plural, eum genitive plural, eum genitive plural for all of the I stems. E for a, 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 for all neuter I stems. Now let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at the um, charts. So third neuter here in the um, screen you can see tempus temporis declined. Tempus temporis is one of the us oris type nouns. Other common third declension types, there are the us eris types like genus generis. That's where we get genus from as in genus and species. So genus generis. Um, and then the men menis type and that would be like flumen in this chapter. So flumen with an en at the end and then fluminis is the genitive of that. Let's just look at the chart for tempus. Uh, notice the nominative, it goes tempus, and that's where in the song it's blank, right? It goes blank is e blank to e. Eh. Well, the blank means fill in the blank because whatever the nominative is, it's just gonna be kind of random. Some might end with us, some might end with men, it might end with all kinds of weird things. For example, a C or an L or whatever, you, you don't really know. So fill in the blank for the nominative, fill in the blank also for the accusative because that repeats the nominative. So blank is e, so the is is the genitive singular, the e is the dative singular, and then you say blank to, so fill in the blank again for the accusative, and then e, that's the ablative ending, which is a short e. We don't sing the vocative, but the vocative rule reminds us that that's gonna be same as the nominative. So it's repeating tempus again from the nominative. Then in the plural it goes, ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis, ah, um, ibis, ah, ibis. And if you look at the endings here, we've got ah, nominative, um, genitive, ibus, dative, ah, accusative, and then ibus, ablative. And then again, the vocative repeats the nominative here. So tempora, vocative plural, repeats tempora, nominative plural. Um, there's a little reminder about the neuter rule there, and that's the little plus symbol. It says the neuter, nominative, and accusative are always the same uh, for all declensions in Latin, and in the plural, nominative and accusative plural always end in short a, a. Uh. Let's look at the variant on the I stem neuters. Uh, this would be a word like animal, animalis, which is animal, or mare, maris, which means C. So third neuter, I stem. There are a few types of these. The all allus type, that would be like animal animalis, um, which means animal. There's the rrs type, like exemplar exemplaris, that's a word that means copy. Um, 
Kalkar, Kalkaris is another one. That means a caltrop, which is the, are those little spiky things that look kind of like jacks, if you know what a jack is. And you throw them out on the battlefield and your enemies step on them and spike themselves. Um, then we get Ara Aris and Ara Aris with the short A. Um, Mare Maris is an example of the A-R-E type, right? So that's what we see in the chart form down below. Um, so we're again filling in the blank for the nominative and for the accusative. We again have the is e for the genitive. So blank is e blank to a. Uh. Now the a uh should be ablative, right? But if we look at the ablative singular, it's got a long i instead of a short e. If you go back to the i stem verse, it says e for a, uh, e for a. Uh. So the ablative singular has an e there, which is a long i, right? It's pronounced e in Latin because it's I stem, neuter. And then in the plural, instead of a um ibus a ibus, you've got the I stem changes. So you have ia, ium, and then ibus, ia, ibus. And then again, the vocative is repeating the nominative, so it's maria again. So that shows you the I stem variants. It's really in the neuter where I stem kind of comes to the fore because in the neuter, you've got the ablative singular with a long I instead of the short E. In the plural, you've got the ias for three of the cases, nominative, accusative, and vocative plural, and you got the ium instead of the normal um ending for the genitive plural. So there are several changes for I stem neuters. There's not very much that changes for a masculine feminine word in the neuter, uh, or in the I stem, sorry. Um, okay, so that gives you a nice little overview of what they look like in chart form. Let's go back to the song and sing it one more time before we leave. We're going to sing the third neuter verse. Blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a neuter third declension. Ah, um, it was ah, it was ah, um, it was ah, it was ah, um, it was ah, it was. That's the neuter plural. And then the I stem verse to remind us of those changes. E um, genitive plural, e um, genitive plural, e um, genitive plural for all of the I stems. E for a, 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 for all neuter I stems. So the e um, genitive plural for all of the I stems. So that would also be for masculine and feminine. And then the second part of that, e for a, e for a, for all neuter I stems, that's only for the neuters. Like animal, like mare. Well, I hope that made sense and you learned a few things there. We'll also have a grammar lesson that you might check out on active and passive um, infinitives. Wale, wale te.